why can the UK Prime Minister not buy his own clothes? I know that question sounds absolutely ridiculous, but what is happening in the UK is ridiculous. And the Prime Minister of the UK has become an object of ridicule. There is no other way to describe what's going on. I mean, look at what went down. First, K. S. Tamer stood red-faced following a massive row over the donations that he has accepted over the years. And now, reports say he has repaid £6,000 worth of gifts and hospitality that he received since entering office, 10 Downing Street. Remember, he has faced severe criticism over accepting more than £100,000 in hospitality and free gifts since December 2019. You know what all that included? 32,000 pounds of workwear, multiple pairs of glasses worth 2,400 pounds and use of uh, a penthouse from the labor donor and peer Wahid Ali. Meanwhile, Lord Ali, a prominent labor peer and key donor is under investigation by the House of Lords Standards Commissioner for alleged non-registration of interests. You see, it's not just Keir Starmer. Criticism has also been directed at others from the Labour Party for allegedly accepting expensive gifts. Starmer has commissioned a new set of principles on gifts and hospitality to be published as part of the updated ministerial code, as per a Downing Street spokesperson. And following the controversy and following days of severe criticism over the wardrobe gate, Starmer has said that he will not accept any more free clothing from donors. This is embarrassing to say the least. The thing is, reputation, credibility, trust are things that are shaped, built, worked upon. They are not freebies or donations. If only K.S. Stamer realized this, reputation cannot be borrowed or taken as a gift or a donation. But even if K.S. Stamer, the UK Prime Minister, does not realize this, I'm sure the people of the UK do. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.